Oh my goodness, I started filming this video. I'm so out of practice that I'm making a mess of it. So we're trying again. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate. I really love this season anyways, but I really enjoyed it especially because I was working in retail right up to the end of it. And as much as people were like working in retail during Christmas time is hell, it is to a degree. <laughs> but it also was really heartwarming seeing people buy gifts, but also like made the effort to go and find gifts for people they love in their lives. I haven't filmed a Christmas haul in many years. All of them are private, I believe. But in the past couple of years, I haven't filmed any at all. I just kind of fell off it a little bit and then I just kind of thought, maybe I'm past it, you know, maybe that was like an era in my life that's now or ever in my lives, in my life. But then this year I received a lot of bookish gifts and I was like, maybe you guys would want to see this because it was kind of book related and obviously I have a booktube channel, so. I asked on Instagram, on my stories, I did a poll and 100% of people said yes, they wanted to see a Christmas haul. That wasn't just like 10 of my friends, that was like a lot of people who were kind of viewers and followers and subscribers and things like that. So I thought that I'll go ahead and film it for you guys. If the demand is there, I am happy to provide. I was gonna say receive, I don't think so. Okay, I'm happy to receive the demand. I will provide whatever I can in response to it. But I'll just quickly run through how this is gonna work. I'm gonna go through my stalking, I'm gonna go get gifts I got from my brothers, then from my mum, then from my grandparents, and then from my friend. That's everything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We always have something peeking out of our stockings and this year my mum decided to get us like little Harry Potter creatures. So I got the Niffler. Um, he's gorgeous. Literally the cutest thing. And it's the official like Fantastic Beasts one. Yes. Got a hand cream. This is from Bath and Body Works. It's the In the Stars one. I got a pair of earrings. These are super cute little cherry ones. They're from the company Acorn and Will. I think they'll look really cute in summer. I got a bunch of coffee stencils. These are ones for you to do like latte art. It's a flower, a star and a heart. I got a pack of fine liners. These are the Stadler Tri Plus 0.3 millimeter. They're the ones I use for annotating and I was in desperate need of these. I completely run out of some colors. My older brother always gets my younger brother and me chocolate frogs. It just comes with a giant chocolate frog. And then amazingly, the character card that I received was for Dumbledore, which is one that I've always, always wanted and never been able to get. This is the one that Harry gets. That was definitely a highlight of Christmas. So opening up the chocolate frog and seeing that. This piece of chocolate is massive. Like I still haven't got through my one from last year. I also got this pack of 50 sparkling cocktails for every occasion. So it's a deck of cards, but they're cocktail cards. A watercolor kind of picture of a cocktail. And on the back is the recipe. The last thing I got is just a bunch of chocolate. I've still got so much to get through. I find it quite boring when people run through every single little chocolate they got so I'm gonna save you guys from that but yeah there's a lot in there so my little brother got me a very special wonderful gift my brothers and I have been watching the Game of Thrones series we're on season two it's kind of hard getting us all together but when we are together we love to watch Game of Thrones so he got me the folio edition of the first book of a Game of Thrones first of all like literally the box itself is just like what is this like this is stunning in itself it comes with part one and part two of the first book and then a little skinny book here, which is the map. The actual presentation of this is just like incredible. So the first book has got a design on it. The second book has a design. They're both illustrated. The map is just massive and just so amazing to kind of immerse you in the world. And the box itself is stunning as well because it's like a picture printed on the inside. This is so heavy by the way. I don't even think I could even put it on a bookshelf. I think it would like break the bookshelf. So I have to think about where to store this, but such a lovely collector's edition. These things just go up and up in price. Then my older brother was also extremely generous. Um, both of them always are. Um, first gift he got me was a record cleaner box set. So I collect records. I don't have anything to look after them, which is very stupid. And then the next gift he got me was actually the Kindle Paper White, so cool. I briefly spoke with him about this back in October when we were in New York. Never would I have ever thought that he'd get me a Kindle. But what I'll do is I'll list all the details of it down below. It's so easy to set up as well. All you need is an Amazon account and you're kind of good to go. And then he also got me this case, um, which the Kindle is currently in. This kind of wine, burgundy, red. It's actually much darker than it's coming up on camera. Right, what are we doing now? Oh yeah, also, I forgot. He got me um, 12 credits to put towards Audible. This essentially is like a year's subscription to Audible, but basically I can read 12 books, so it's like a book a month. I'm hoping with the e-reader and the Audible credits, I should start reading a lot more. We'll do my grandparents. So my grandma and my granddad on my dad's side got all of us money to spend. I think that that went into like Christmas food and stuff like that, I'm not entirely sure, but either way, I'm really thankful to them for being so generous. My granny and my uncle on my mum's side got me money as well, a very generous amount, and um, I need to figure out 
what to treat myself with using that. They also got me experiencing the presence of God. Teachings from the book of Hebrews by A.W. Tozer. So it's just a Christian non-fiction book. And now we're going to move on to gifts from my mother. So the first thing she got me is a cocktail shaker. This is from Oliver Bonus. It is literally stunning. I'm a cocktail gal, so I'm really excited to be able to use this with the new cards I got in the stocking as well. She also got me a necklace. This is kind of a little bit strange, but I absolutely adore it. It is this gold necklace and then it has a um, mouse on it. So it's like a little field harvest mouse the field mouse and i think that it's such a unique piece she also got me a bunch of books <laughs> can't tell me i'm actually struggling to get them off the ground this is called gleanings stories from the ark of the scythe this series love it the third book i haven't read because i'm too scared to pick it up because i love the second book so much and don't want the third one to flop i will definitely have to actually read the third book in 2023 so i can read this one but the whole concept is just insane like it's so clever um neil schusman is a genius next i got a russian classic so i'm collecting these um russian classics by the vintage classics imprint this one is a lesser, lesser known one and it's called life and fate by Vasily grossman i don't know how to pronounce that i'm not sure when i'll get to this one because it's not one that i actually probably would have known about had i not known about this like series of russian classics and it's also um 855 pages long so Yes. And then my mum also got me a signed copy of Babel by Arif, Qu Arif Kwang. Why can't I say her name? Arif Kwang. I just merged the first few letters together. Babel, an arcane history. What is the full name of this? Hasn't it got like a longer name than that? Babel or the Necessity of Violence, an arcane history of the Oxford Translators Revolution. Yes. And it is signed, like I said. I've heard like absolutely brilliant things about this. My mum also got me a record. So tonight I might see by Mazzy Star. It came out in the early 90s. It's got kind of dream pop. There's quite a bit of rock, some heavy, beautiful riffs and solos and stuff like that, but it's also very folky. It's perfect kind of vinyl listening music, so it's something that you can kind of have on in your room while you're doing other things. You have to pause this to the guitar solo, solos, but the rest of it is just very soft and easy listening, basically. But also absolutely wonderfully made and everything like that. And yeah, so this is just a single LP. Not a single, but like a singular LP. It comes with a picture and then it also comes with the record obviously which is actually such a nice one considering it's just like a standard black pressing and it's in this like basic outer sleeve but it comes in an anti-static sleeve and then the record itself is pressed on 100, 180 gram vinyl so it is stunning it's like very good quality favorite songs if you're curious i want to give this band a go are fade into you of course blue light into dust we'll leave it there Fade into you, blue light, and into dust. And that's been one that I've wanted kind of ever since I started collecting records. And my mum also got me two pairs of socks. They came in a pack together. They're from Super Dry. They're actually hiking socks, but they're super soft ones. But yeah, a navy colour and a red colour. I will never complain about receiving socks. Then she also got me a t-shirt. This one is from Urban Outfitters and it's a Lana Del Rey one. Sorry if it's a bit creased. I wore it yesterday. It's a replica of the 2020 touring shirt or the merch that she was selling during 2020 i don't think she toured in 2020 did she I don't think so no maybe she had a tour planned anyways it's a replica of that so basically it's the picture that's on the cover of her 2019 album norman i think rockwell and then it's got her name of course and it's a lovely oversized fit because it's a unisex small right was that everything my mom got to me let me see other than these last couple of things which i need to mention because they're not here yet so first of all she got me a copy of the stolen air so the folk of Air trilogy was those three books, then like a little short story collection, and then there's a new series that's like linking to that one. And the first book in that is The Folk of the Air. No. The first book in that is The Stolen Air. <clears throat> it releases on January 3rd, so my mum pre-ordered it for me, and it's coming in the mail soon. My main gift from her was a pair of over-ear headphones. Don't remember the name of them. The only thing I know is that they're noise cancelling, and they're by JBL, but I'll put it in the description box if you're interested. I found them through um, Rachel Catherine. She also makes booktube videos. She wears these headphones all the time and she loves them, and they're a very reasonable price for the quality of them. And my current headphones, they're like peeling and they're just very old, and they actually have been starting to make my ears bleed, and that's nothing to do with the quality of the music that I'm listening to or anything like that. They push on my cartilage, which pushes into the cartilage behind it, and then it causes um, wounds in between, which make my ear bleed. So my mom was like, you cannot have those anymore. <laughs> so I looked around for a new pair and she ordered those for me. We had an absolute nightmare getting them. Never order something through the UPS. That's all I'm gonna say. They're now arriving with a different company and they should be here by the 30th, which is in a couple of days. I'm really excited, I'll let you guys know how they are, slash when they get here and everything like that on Instagram. My Instagram is Jemima's Life for book related things. We're now gonna move on to my bestie, Abby. She's gorgeous. 
and she absolutely spoiled me so much. So very first gift and like literally the most incredible gift ever. By the way, Abby has an art Instagram, so make sure to follow her or look at her content because she's very, very talented. You can see close-ups of this next thing I wanna show you. So basically what she did is she bought the DIY Funko Pop, which basically means that you can custom make a Funko Pop. So it basically turns up looking like this, this little bald dude, he looks like Baymax. And then you can do whatever the heck you want to it. <laughs> if you're new to me as a person, Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Rima and I am obsessed with Aussie monkeys. They are literally like I'm not I'm not a casual stan. My favourite kind of era of theirs is Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino, which was their sixth studio album. Literally, I could write essays about that. I could write a book about that. Anyways, during that time of their lives, they did a live concert, which they actually also um, produced as a record, where they performed at the Royal Albert Hall, which was to raise money for a charity and. This performance was stunning. The vocals are just beautiful. Like the fact that we get a live concert from that era that I can just listen to in my earphones like every single day. Not that I do that, but I might do. What she did is she did a exact like replica of what the lead singer Alex Turner looked like during that concert. And it's got one of the guitars that he plays during it. He's in the outfit. She even drew the little chain that he always wears. Yeah, she like clay molded his hair and his little beard moustache situation. And his jacket and the guitar, everything like that. She also made the bass, which is this hexagon, which is like a symbol that's very um, linked with the TBHC album. And just everything is perfect. She knows how much I absolutely love this band, this man, <laughs> this album, this performance, this outfit, literally everything. Stunning. I feel honored to have kind of come across her in my life and to get to love her and to have the amazing privilege of her loving me. Slightly more chill. <laughs> she got me Surrender by Bono. It's basically Bono's autobiography. I love you too. So yes, I've been eyeing this up at work almost every single day because I was working in the non-fiction section. Another gift that's kind of linked to the Bono book. She got me tickets to see Inhaler, so Bono's son's band, live this year. Not this year, next year, 2023. So we're gonna see them, I think it's April or something like that. I'm literally so hyped. We've seen Inhaler together once, both of our first times seeing them in Paris at Rocancen and they're amazing, we got front row. It was just such a good vibe. But then we really wanted to see them like outside of a festival setting with like their own fans and everything like that. So I'm really excited to see them in concert. I'm very thankful to go with literally like my favorite person in the entire world. So that was just too much. She just did too much, too much, you know, like way too much. Makes me emotional thinking about it. I don't feel deserving, but you know, that's just a complete other thing that I'm not gonna get into, of course in a what I love for Christmas video. When I went down to go and get the cocktail shaker and the cocktail cards and things like that from the kitchen, my mum really wanted me to mention that she got each of the people in my family a mug from Anthropology. But basically she got one for herself, one for each of my brothers, one for me, and then one for my brother's fiance. So we can all have matching and they're so cute. And it's definitely made this festive season even lovelier. That was like an early advent gift. But yeah, that's everything. Hopefully I didn't forget everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope it brought you some joy on this cold winter's day. I'm obviously super thankful for absolutely every single thing I received. There's not a single thing that I'm just like a little bit like, oh, that's a bit strange. Like everything is just wonderful. I had a lovely day. It was made even more wonderful by all of these beautiful gifts from people I love. I'll see you guys super soon for another video. I'm really excited for 2023 content. I've got so many things planned. I've got so many end of the year wrap ups and things to do. So I've got my December wrap up. I've got my, all the books that I read in 2022. Yeah, all the content's gonna be coming your way. So please make sure to subscribe if you're interested and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye.